Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Talks aimed at ending the war in Syria have resumed. The UN Special Envoy says he hopes to hold three rounds of peace talks that will lead to a roadmap to peace in Syria. A cessation of hostilities began in Syria last month, but both sides have accused each other of violating it. The fifth anniversary of the war is on Tuesday. It began with protests against Bashar al-Assad. The conflict has killed more than 250,000 people and displaced 11 million others. Parliament will select a new president on Tuesday. Two of the candidates were selected by the National League for Democracy, which has a majority in Parliament. The military proposed the third. The constitution bars NLD leader Aung San Suu Kyi from taking office because her children are foreign citizens. Hetin Cho is her top aide and is expected to serve as her proxy if he wins. The new president is set to take office on April the 1st. A car bombing in the capital Ankara has killed at least 37 people and injured 122 others. It happened at a main transport hub in the city's Kizilai district. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has condemned the attack, saying Turkey would bring an end to terror. No group has claimed responsibility. It's the second suicide bombing in Ankara in the past four weeks. On February the 17th, a car bombing killed 29 people and wounded 81 others. TAK, which is affiliated to the PKK terrorist group, claimed responsibility for that attack. The EU has suspended direct aid to Burundi. The bloc says Bujumbura hasn't done enough to solve the country's political crisis. At least 400 people have died in anti-government violence that began last April. The opposition says President Pierre Nkurunziza's third term is unconstitutional. The EU funds about half of the country's annual budget. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.